What's going on guys, it's Jake here. And in this video I'm gonna be going over the best Warzone class setups. So Warzone, obviously a super popular battle royale game mode. And in this game mode, if you didn't know, you can actually get a loadout drop and it actually allows you to choose one of your custom classes. So in my opinion, and of course these are my opinions, uh, you can do whatever you want. These are my favorite guns, the best guns. So uh, in this game mode, I think uh, you can do a lot, but in my opinion, these are the best. So the first loadout I'm going to have here is going to be with the MP5 and also the AX50. So a couple reasons why I like this class. One, uh, MP5 is pretty good at close range, one of the best close range weapons, and also uh, decent at medium range. It, or I should say it's a lot better at medium range than it should be. So some attachments I have on here are the barrel monolithic integral suppressor because it does add a little bit of range and accuracy and it does obviously silence your weapon. And um, I think that's pretty important when you're in this game mode to have range, accuracy, as well as silencing. Um, this 10 millimeter is just, you need it on every MP5 setup. Uh, stipple grip tape, just because in close range situations, it makes it so you can aim down quicker. Um, fully loaded perk, I like a lot in this game mode because oftentimes like you just run out of ammo. So uh, this isn't needed, but I think it can be very, very helpful. Then um, lastly is the stock, but I do think this could be interchanged by an optic if you want that. I wouldn't recommend a laser and then or some sort of under barrel if you're just looking for better like recoil accuracy range. I think the commando foregrip is a good way to go or an optic if you want that, but I'm okay with the iron sights on this gun. And then moving on to my secondary for this class setup, I have the AX50, and honestly, you could do a marksman rifle if you want, you could do a different sniper rifle, or even like if you wanted to just do some sort of longer range assault rifle like the FAL or something like that, but in my opinion, you just simply need a sniper in this game, it helps out so much. And this is my AX50 setup for this, it is quite toxic with the thermal dual power scope, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is not good for close range, this is all long range, but um, it does work quite well if people are not using cold blooded, which most people aren't. Um, so with this, uh, the optic, it's up to you. I like the thermal one. Of course, this is the last one you unlock, so you might not have it. Um, tack laser, it just adds so much. It adds aim down sight speed, aim stability, aim walking steadiness. Of course, you, um, other teams can see the laser, but um, when you're sniping from really far away, it's not that big of a deal to me. Then, of, of course, uh, the barrel. Uh, you can do these other ones if you more want uh, short range, if you want, um, you know, if you just don't have anything unlocked yet. The, the Arms Pro is not terrible, but um, the 32 inch factory barrel, by far the best. It adds range, velocity, recoil control, and it takes away movement speed, aim down sight speed. But in this game, you're going to be likely doing more up close battles. And last, like I said before, the fully loaded. Um, it's just when you get this loadout and if you don't have any ammo around you, it just helps a lot to have all of your ammo right there. And then in terms of perks and lethal tactical, so you do get your perks, uh, you do get your lethal and tactical as well. So these are very important. Of course, overkill is needed for perk two. Uh, and then in terms of this, cold blooded is very, very useful. And just completely honest, when you look at these other ones, I mean, quick fix, no, uh, kill chain, uh, you could get this one, but I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen it uh, actually really help a lot with increasing your chances. I don't know though, I don't use it. Um, Cold-blooded, in my opinion, helps the best just simply with people, other people using thermal. And then um, scavenger, not useful. EOD, um, that could be useful, but I haven't had much explosive damage. Then double time, I just don't really think that's that useful. Then amped, in my opinion, in terms of these, uh, is the most useful. But this category, I will say, um, some of these other ones are quite useful, like reducing revive time, that can be quite useful in this. Um, another lethal can be useful as well. Um, this one, not so much. Spotter can be very, very useful in this, and same with tracker. So um, in my opinion, uh, the, the, a lot of these can be very useful. So um, just be aware of the perk three. I just use Amped because if you are in a situation where you need to switch your weapons quickly, I think that's most useful. Then in terms of lethal, stun grenade, <clears throat> um, your lethal definitely could change. In my opinion, frag grenades are probably the worst. Uh, throwing knives are pretty useless as well, unless you're going for some cool kill feeds. But uh, thermite's very useful. Proximity mines, claymore, they're pretty much the same thing. Those are useful as well. Um, C4, Semtex, I mean, 
all these explosives are useful. I would say the thing about C4, I prefer being able to throw them long range. So in that case, I think Suntex can be very useful for clearing people out of buildings if they're far away from you. And then grenades um, or uh, tacticals. Uh, heartbeat sensor is actually really, really useful in this game. Stim is completely useless, don't use that. I just think gas grenade is kind of useful, but not my favorite. Decor grenade, completely useless, uh, don't use that either. Uh, like I said, heartbeat sensor, pretty good. Snapshot grenade, not bad. Uh, smoke grenade can be very good if you're using thermal, and uh, they don't have cold blooded on, but obviously stun and flash, those are just kind of good go-tos. So that's this class setup. Then my next class setup, um, the, the AX50 is pretty much the same, but I changed it a little bit. So um, this AX50, uh, instead of doing the laser, I actually put on the monolithic suppressor. So um, when you're shooting uh, any sort of sniper, it just simply is very loud and people can very easily find your location. So again, it's up to you. But besides that, this class setup is the same. <clears throat> then. Uh, this one's a little bit different because I chose the M4. The perks are the same. Um, I did smoke and semtex, but of course that's kind of up to you. And then in terms of the uh, what I'm doing here with the M4, so M4 obviously not as good at close range as the MP5, but I do still like it quite a bit. And monolithic suppressor just adds that range. So this class setup is definitely not going to be one that I'm pushing crazy hard. It's going to be more long range. So I did put a scope on this one because I feel that's very important. Um, stipple grip tape just for the close range battles just in case they do happen because you kind of need to aim in quick um, if you're running around chasing after someone it's very helpful fully loaded again but of course uh, you definitely could change this if you just don't think that's going to be an issue but from my experience uh, when I do these loadout drops and I only have 30 bullets it's pretty much useless and then um, the stock M16 Grenadier, this is just simply the best uh, one in my opinion. Now you could choose uh, this one as well, which I recently unlocked, but um, this one just simply does more range. So uh, it's uh, more accurate and has more range. So uh, the only thing really giving up here is mobility, but that's completely fine with me. And then uh, the scope again is totally up to you. Uh, you could, I might actually change to this, a thermal optic, but I don't want to be stuck with two optics if... Um, not all of them, or if someone's using cold blood, that really could screw you over there. But either way, this is this class setup, and then I also have this one as well. But, um, you know, it's really up to you what you want to choose. Then in terms of uh, everything else, uh, nothing else really matters too much. Uh, of course, uh, you definitely could do a completely different setup than this. I mean, you could do something like, I mean, you could do like a whole lot of different setups. In my opinion, overkill is very, very worth it. Um, there's not really any other perk twos that are going to be much better besides maybe restock but um uh, maybe hardline as well because you get a lot of prices decreased but i don't know i just feel like it would be very very worth it to uh, have two weapons over one but another thing to note as well is if you already have a good weapon like you already have a good weapon from uh warzone maybe you only want to do a sniper only class or like a uh, AR only class to, just to kind of get you uh, prepared if you do have a good weapon already but you still want to do the loadout drop and you want to like get a better perk too but in my opinion I'm okay with going overkill but other than that guys it's really here for this video so these other classes I have set up here are just for different game modes and stuff like that I do use the mp5 the most this is kind of my toxic class if people are being annoying but um, I have been trying other guns as well I've been trying a lot of the um, SMGs because I think those are pretty good but uh, also, my really, really toxic shipment class right here. This is one of the worst classes. Um, pretty fun to play with, though. But uh, M13 class, uh, this was a different class, but I switched to the M4. Uh, MP7, my carbine class, and obviously these. And I do change my sniper class from time to time. But other than that, guys, zip this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know below what you guys think. Uh, I've been liking Warzone quite a bit. It's one of uh, the better games, in my opinion. And uh, I really like what they did with it. They actually did a really good job. So uh, other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.